everyone, welcome back to Boxy's YouTube channel where we do unboxing, reviews and product demos on the latest tech. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the LG GX 3.1 channel Dolby Atmos and DTSX soundbar. Unboxing this was really simple as there were just two main parts and all pieces were individually wrapped which was nice. This soundbar is designed to match seamlessly with the GX TV to give you immersive and high quality sound and visuals. We'll be testing it with the CX today as this is the TV we have to hand. This shouldn't be too much of an issue as the CX and GX are pretty similar other than the main difference is that the GX is designed for wall mounting whereas the CX comes with a stand. The soundbar is incredibly thin and would fit flush against the wall if mounted which is why you can see how it would pair perfectly with the GX TV because of this it's easy to think it's just for wall mounting as this is how it's mostly portrayed online as well but you'll actually find a small stand behind it so you can stand it up as well however we did find that when you use the stand and place the soundbar in front of the TV it does block off the bottom of the TV I would recommend wall mounting the soundbar or having a TV stand where you can place the soundbar underneath the design on this soundbar is lovely. It oozes sleekness and the materials feel strong and premium. It gives an incredible surround sound experience considering it's just two units. This is because it has 3.1 channels of output. If you wanted a more immersive sound, you could connect it to the LG rear speaker kit to enjoy sound from all directions. But in my opinion, this isn't really necessary as I felt that you got the full immersive sound experience from this soundbar alone. The soundbar connects wirelessly via Bluetooth, so you can place the subwoofer wherever is convenient for you without worrying about connecting it to the soundbar via wires. However, it is worth mentioning that it isn't completely wireless of course, because it does need to be plugged into a power source. You can control the settings on the soundbar via the small buttons on the side or this little remote that it comes with. The remote is nice and small and it's simple to use as you can control volume, source and much more with just the click of a button. You can also pair the soundbar up with the app via Bluetooth and control these settings through your phone too. Now, let's get into the sound. Considering we have just two units, it was incredibly immersive and seemed as if it was coming from all directions. This is because it has both Dolby Atmos and DTSX, which bounce the sound off different surfaces to give you incredible surround sound. I tested this by watching a few Dolby Atmos and DTSX movies on Netflix and I was impressed. When I watched titles such as Six Underground and Daredevil, the sound was action packed and seemed as if it came from all directions, from bassy explosions around me to fight scenes coming from right in front of me. The sound made me really feel a part of the on-screen action. It also has 4K pass-through, which means it aligns itself with the TV's Dolby Vision and HDR features to seamlessly give really in-sync audio. This speaker has an impressive 420 watts as well as 96 kilohertz sampling rates and 24 bit depth which gave really high quality audio and also reached really loud levels when it came to volume. Although I didn't need to turn the volume up the full way as I had really strong audio at just level 25, I know that there are more powerful soundbars on the market such as the LG SN11RG which can reach 770 watts and has both left and right speakers in addition to the soundbar and subwoofer but it also comes at almost double the price. So for the price range, this soundbar gives off really powerful audio. What impressed me even more about this soundbar are its AI capabilities. It has adaptive audio which assesses the content you're watching and automatically adjusts to give you the optimum settings for what you're viewing. So when I watched titles such as Criminal, which is based on dialogue, the speech was clear and sharp. Then, when I watched Next Gen, I could hear the action from all directions. And finally, when I listened to music, the sound was really beautiful and the bass was highlighted or acoustic sounds bounced off the walls. To be honest, I don't really have many criticisms of this soundbar. It feels and looks really premium and the sound quality is incredible. The only thing to bear in mind is that it may be best wall mounted or if you're going to use a stand, it's worth taking into consideration where you're going to place it so that it doesn't block the front of the TV. What do you guys think of this product? Make sure to let us know in the comments below and if you have any questions, pop them down and we'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest tech reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.